In the last video, the police escorted me back from uh, my previous destination, back here to Black River Bay, because on my documents, a, a previous customs officer had not put the right uh, end destination. I arrived in the dark, they had me wait a day. Around noon they came and, yeah, I don't know, they, they, they changed it on the papers and then I could go again. Um, I still don't understand why I had to turn back and come here, but whatever. Anyway, so I, I wanted I wanted to leave, but I couldn't because it, I'm going against trade winds and a bit against the current. And I have to wait till it's either really calm or until the winds changed. So it's generally calm in the morning, so I couldn't leave. Then in the afternoon, police came again, confiscated my papers again. I'm like, what's going on? And then a day later they came and they said, well, you're boat name does not correspond with what's on the documents and it's true like in Guatemala um, I changed the name on the boat a friend of mine would come to uh, Guatemala and joined to Roatan and he would bring the papers but the day before his flight was he, he did a race he fell off the boat broke a bunch of things so he couldn't come so didn't have the papers I left, didn't have any problems checking out in Guatemala, didn't have any problems in Honduras, didn't have any problems in Cuba. And then here, I have to be really honest, I feel like this officer is trying to find something, just for whatever reason, it's a hunch. Uh, whatever, I will have to comply. Uh, anyway, so I'm here and it's funny because, you know, this life is supposed to be utopia, you know, many people work till 65 to sail around the world because it's like the big dream and it is and I, I love it but it it's actually uh, often miserable more miserable than my life before like I get a lot back for it but it's also a lot more difficulties and I'm just like I got, even from day one I'm like I need a I need a drink I'm like I'm just frustrated, you know, I'm here since a few days and like, I need a drink and I've been drinking a bit much in the last few weeks and I, I, I told myself, okay, I'm not going to drink for two weeks, which was the day before this all happened and like, I need a drink and I'm like, if I need a drink every time something is miserable in this lifestyle, I, I should take the water out of my water tank and just replace it with pure rum because like, <laughs> like, almost every day something breaks or it's it's something like this at a new destination I'm like I cannot leave my life by uh, ruining my body because of what other people do to me or what affects me because of whatever happens you know so I decided you know what no if I have a drink I should have a drink because um, I can drink occasionally something away but I should have a drink because it's just fun or in the weekend or something not because of other people affecting my life so i want to keep doing that and um yeah one half more week and whenever this is solved in the next few days i'm going to continue and i want to stop uh, one more place in this municipality but i'm thinking i might skip this municipality and go to the next one i'm a little ashamed to show this but uh it looks horrible i use an old piece of leather um and use clear sealant to put it on on the trip here my autopilot stopped working again and now I made sure there was no electronics close by that could interfere with the compass. I'm going to show you the trick that I did inside the module last time and I hope that it works again. I have the Raymarine Raytheon Auto Helm ST3000. It's old but it's been always working fine. I hope I can at least make it to probably next up is Dominican Republic and it'll be a lot easier to ship things there than to here. <laughs> There's this tiny little thing here that you can rotate and it should give it some kind of reset. How you can see if it works is this box is mounted sideways on the boat. So there is the drive module. So when I move this box in this direction, you see, see how I move the box, it's in the middle, then it does nothing. It moves like this, it steers in the opposite direction. This is how simple this box works and it seems to work right now. There they come again. Let's see if everything is all right 
this time. We were like, well, we actually wanted you to scratch out the old ladders. And I'm like, well, you didn't tell me that. And I said, no, I sealed over them. He was like, okay, well, I'll go back and talk to my leading officer and then I'll let you know. Hey, hey man, um, I just wanted to say that if, if it's not good, if, it, if, if I keep having these issues here, then you, you can also escort me to Kingston and I will check out of the country and, and I will go. I'm making a uh, rainwater catchment system, which will go through the drain and then with two handles, it'll go all the way up until here. And then there will be a pump that will pump it into the tank. So here on top is where the water from deck comes in and first I'll let it uh, let the deck wash clean and then when it's clean and it's still raining I'll um, I'll stop this one and I open this one over here and then it goes all the way to through the other side of the boat uh, down here and then it goes here uh, into a screen um, and from the screen it goes uh, a pump pumps it just put that hose in all the way to all the way to here is a 5 micron filter and then it goes directly into the 30 gallon tank and let's see if the water catchment system works Put the rainwater pump on. Oh yeah. Okay, they just called me and I am uh, good to go. I do have to pick up the form myself. They're <laughs> not bringing it. I'm gonna put the dinghy motor on, pick it up, and uh, yeah, well, I'm gonna, why not? If I'm, if I'm there anyway, I'll go to the supermarket and buy myself a big bar of chocolate or something. Cheesecake, ice cream, and bacon. Hey, good morning. I just pulled up anchor and uh, I think we're going to make a stop anyway at the place where we were a couple days ago before they sent me back here. It actually seemed like a nice place, so why not? At this moment the autopilot is working again. I do think it's temporary fixes, but I hope I can make it with it to the Dominican Republic. I just swapped out my main sheet for this one. I have now two separate lines or ropes. This one is uh, pretty new. That one isn't, but it's a lot better than it was. I'm getting some practice in with the mainsail, that's good. I have to be careful that I'm not hitting these all these floating things in the water here. I gotta exchange two and a half dollar and a pack of cigarettes for fish. They wanted to sell me the big fish, it's way too big for me. Thank you very much guys. Thank you. Uh, Three small fish, why not? 
They want to sell me the big fish for 50 US dollar. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, but uh, I bought the small fish. It's just like, I don't know, like filleting fish. It's uh, just cre <laughs> creeps me out a little. But it's hypocrite, you know, because I, I do eat it if I don't have to make it myself. So I think I should learn again i've done it before a couple times i should learn again to do it because it would be nice one day to actually start fishing the autopilot did really well on the way there but now it's giving issues again so i'm opening it up and trying to see if i can do something right now i'm trying to take it out of the case to just see if there's anywhere uh, some kind of magnetic interference in the box like close too close to this area So now the autopilot is working fine again. So there must be some magnetic interference somewhere down there I checked the hack in the hatch. There's nothing I'm sure it's not perfect, but it's a start. It's pretty good actually. Just arrived, going to town, and I decided to paddle in, because uh, I want to go walk around and everything. And then, uh, I don't know, I just feel safer with uh, leaving the dinghy without the engine. Uh, I should have bought a kayak, an inflatable kayak. Because it's so easy, so easy to like blow up and nobody wants to steal an inflatable kayak. Goodbye Limonada Tate Tate, I will restore your name in the next country when I have the official documents. I've learned during my time here and also in books that I read, is that on average Jamaican people do not like to be on camera and some will ask you to delete it and other ones will ask some money for it but in general they do not like it which i find a real shame because i would love to see how people live in the, in the country rural side uh, which i will also keep trying one of the reasons i went back here is because this colorful house someone actually sent me here and said you should check it out this is the workshop of guilty guilty's over there and he's at the moment he's uh, fixing these drums for customers and uh, he's making paintings. Now, this is actually not the workshop. There's going to be a kitchen, but he's working here now. This is a beautiful view. I'm a big fan of Jamaican colors, as you know. I really like it. This is cool too. These are just um, these are just from Coke cans and beer cans. That's quite that's a nice idea for a floor. Put that in cement. But that's my that's my thing. Love your neighbor. Love your neighbor. I like that. I had some issues with my neighbor when I was building a cabin, but uh, I have a boat, so I don't have to have neighbors. I barely, I barely ever look up to a roof, but I actually okay. really like this. This is cool. You're Picasso. Last thing I'm trying with this autopilot is I'm uh, dismantling it and I'm gonna hang it somewhere inside the boat where I can easily reach it and see if that makes a difference. So I left a wooden mount here and I made a new mount over here. This is a place in my boat furthest away from every possible um, interference of anything. And while, while filming this my mirror fell on the floor and broke. Is that... Um, is that bad luck or good luck? This is a temporary ugly solution just until I either found what was the problem or at least till I've gotten to a destination hopefully where I can uh, replace it.
Good morning. Next stop will be Alligator Reef. Well, the other part it is still working, um, but it's very light weather, so I'm not sure if it keeps working in heavy weather. I gotta try that. I'm using this remote control so that at least I can um, alter course from here because the module is now inside the boat. Do you guys own a boat or uh, do you like to be on the ocean or what do you like about watching sailing videos? For me, I, I really feel like one with nature when, I, when I'm on the ocean and yeah, it, just, it just calms my mind and I'm, I'm really curious to know like what does it do for you? Just dropped anchor. According to the book, there's the reef. This is a place that if you haven't been here, you've really missed something of uh, Jamaica. So let's see definitely nice clear water here the lunch is going to be toasted bread with bacon eggs and cheese and tomato let's do this as you saw my anchor did not dig in so i swam to the bottom and i pulled up the anchor and everything that was stuck in it i uh, i got out and I actually tried to kick the anchor in the ground, but I, I couldn't, that didn't work. So I'm just gonna back up the, uh, the, uh, the boat just to dig it in well. I never really had issues with my anchor, but this, this grassy, grassy underground, my anchor does not like. Let's go check if it's dug in now and then continue to the reef. The anchor is still not dug in as much as I would like it to be, but um, I think it's good enough. Uh, there should be almost no wind this night and almost uh, and no waves. And I'm planning to leave tomorrow anyway, so I think it's good enough. Tiny island. Clearly, it looks like people occasionally come here to uh, make a fire. It's uh, it's really pretty here. Here in the middle of the ocean to walk here. <laughs> 